Your inner self says, I will do this. Outer self insists on the opposite. There is a tug of war inside you. Triumph the goodness within against evil within. This is penitence or self-restraint. Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya Book title Sanskriti ki Sita ki Vapsi Return of the Divine Culture In the Indian culture, Mother Sita symbolizes the divine culture of high values. So what does one mean by loss of divine culture? Let us look all around us in the age we are living in. Practices like changing partners every season, bringing up children and then children not looking back. Children shrugging off the responsibility of aging parents are commonplace. We have more money but less reasons to celebrate and be happy. And there are many out there who get lonely and depressed. Will divinity answer this? And is there a way to bring back divinity into the culture? A way to bring back happiness and joy for everyone. While the ill-understood concept of spirituality has been called an intoxication of an underdeveloped mind, does it have the answer? Is there any hope to bring back divine culture? In India, King Ram, who represented righteousness, had built a bridge with floating stones and rescued the Divine Mother, Sita, who represented the divine culture from the clutches of the Emperor Ravana, representing evil. His disciple Hanuman, who represented the pious effort needed to re-establish righteousness, lifted an entire hill on his back. These incidents prove that if there is a will, if an effort is made, one can bring the divinity back. Why is bringing back the divine culture is pertinent? Bringing divine culture back is a must for the upliftment of humanity. And while one may feel one doesn't have the power to do so, isn't it all about making the effort? Just like the squirrel representing seemingly small but all-important efforts needed for righteousness that contributed to making a bridge for Lord Ram, and the bird named Jatayu, representing sacrificial effort to save the divine culture, that is Sita, from the clutches of evil. One just needs to make efforts. Bringing back the divine culture is a must and a responsibility for all, and one can also be sure that once the efforts are made, the divine power will start giving one the strength to fulfill this noble cause. Example Devas or demigods came to earth as five Pandavas to help even Lord Krishna in the epic Mahabharata. There will be trying times, but if one adheres to the principles of humanity, one is sure to succeed. How does we bring divine culture back? We need to do penance to suppress our bad habits, making an effort to triumph the goodness within against evil that is also within, and continuously refining oneself is called penance. One needs to adhere to the principle of daily revision of good attributes, example chants etc. with devotion, and do daily upasana, being near to God or the amalgamation of good attributes. And once in the rhythm sets in, or even before that, start reaching out to spread divine wisdom and awaken people to the divinity within. Few excerpts from the book. 80% of the wealthy American citizens are in tension and stress. What is the stress? When a person feels I am alone, no one is mine and I don't belong to anyone like life becomes so devoid of enthusiasm and scary. Dear friends, we need to bring back that divine culture, since the future of humanity and world peace depends on it. The future of our generation depends on it. God has made this world with a lot of pride, and it is sustained by His will. And the purpose of our life is based on it. To add value to human birth, whatever work is handed over to us, we need to do that. We need to bring back divine culture, and you are invited for this. Who is helped by the divine power of gods and goddesses? Not the one who just keeps chanting the mantras or keeps reading the verses of books, but rather divine helps those goals are high. Who aim high for humanity? When a person wakes up to fulfill great divine goals, that is when they get all support by devas, angels. 
There are various external pressures on a human being, but there are only two eternal pressures, greed and attachment, that does not allow one to progress. The one who can safeguard oneself from these desires and attachment, rest and lethargy, pleasure and debauchery, and make an effort to progress following higher principles can be called Devata or Divine. We need to be a doer. We need to do a door-to-door -door campaign to awaken people just like a medicine, to eradicate the disease of immorality and remove what is unacceptable. Your inner self, I will do this. Outer self insists on something opposite. There is a tug of war inside you. Triumph the goodness within against evil within. This is penance. To elevate your character, you need to take charge against your bad habits. To break the chain of bad habits, to suppress them, the self-control. Your exercise is called tapascharya. Is God pleased by our penance? What does Almighty get by our penance? To penance, our bad habits are left behind and as we progress to build a high character, godliness is experienced within. Giving a speech on stage is different and giving the right advice is different. We need advisors and not speakers. Mahapurusharan, a very big spiritual refinement exercise is aimed to make the environment favorable. If the environment is not favorable, then our efforts will not be fruitful. If the temperature does not calm down during rain, then seeds will not sprout. If wheat is grown in summer, it won't grow. It will grow only if wheat is ploughed in rainy season. The speciality of Mahapurusharan Yagna is that only those who take a pledge to do daily mantra chants can do it. It is mandatory to do daily worship with devotion. Neither the holy fire of Yagna nor the offered herbs nor money spent is important. This is the Yagna, act of purification of mass devotion. Those who have gathered devotion by daily penance and worship are eligible to perform Yagna. A new era will begin a new world. A new society, new humans, will have divinity dwelling inside, will bring heaven on earth. The divine light of Gayatri, goddess of wisdom, will spread. Not just in India, but in the entire world and universe, including Muslims, Christians and everyone else. Will you teach Gayatri to all? Yes, the way sun, moon, air, water belongs to everyone, so does Gayatri. She is the mother of Vedas, Devas and the universe. Few topics covered in the book. Sita, divine culture, has been abducted today. Today's era of lack of belief. The lifelessness of the family ecosystem. The dangerous repercussions of shunning divine culture. Let's bring back love and care. Reenacting the history. Building a character to receive angelic blessings. The nature and support of gods. Understand the importance of the opportunity. Big goals that lie ahead. 